across all our videos about the 2026 Tesla Model 2, priced at just $17,999, one question keeps coming up. Can a car this cheap still be truly safe? Will it be a breakthrough for affordable EVS, or a piece of scrap the moment something goes wrong? That's not just a skeptic's worry, it's a real question. In this video, we're uncovering the safety systems Elon Musk hasn't talked about. Technologies that only activate when everything else fails. From an independent emergency power circuit, to instant door unlocks during crashes, and even automatic escape features if the car falls into water or catches fire. Welcome to Auto Gear Shift again, where the hype stops and real analysis starts. We're closing in on 15,567 subscribers, and it's your curiosity that powers every investigation we publish. If you prefer content that slices through marketing noise and respects your intelligence, hit subscribe, turn on the bell, and join a community that actually understands EV tech beyond the headlines. How can the 2026 Tesla Model 2 still protect you when the power's gone? Independent emergency power circuit. Electric vehicles usually live and die by their high voltage packs. One break in the main circuit and most systems fall silent. Tesla's engineers seem determined to break that rule. The 2026 Model 2 reportedly carries an independent 12 volt lithium ion circuit, a miniature power architecture that can keep critical systems alive for 10 to 15 minutes, even after the main 53 kilowatt hour traction battery is disabled. That short window, roughly 600 to 900 seconds, translates to enough time for airbags to deploy, doors to unlock, windows to drop, and emergency lighting to stay active while occupants orient themselves or wait for rescue crews. The power pack itself is small, around 200 to 300 watt hours, yet it can deliver bursts up to 50 amps, sufficient for mechanical actuators and compressed gas inflators. It's a quiet piece of redundancy that doesn't advertise itself on dashboards or spec sheets. But in a crash scenario, milliseconds matter. Tesla's impact sensors respond in roughly 2 to 5 milliseconds, while human reaction time averages 250 to 300 milliseconds. By the time a driver even registers the collision, the microcontroller has already diverted current to the backup circuit and fired the necessary systems. The car, in effect, continues to think after its main brain goes dark. Conventional EVS and hybrids typically tie both high and low voltage systems to a single contactor bank. When that fails, everything fails. The Model 2's rumored dual-layer design isolates survival functions behind solid-state relays, allowing independent routing of energy. Even if the high-voltage pack is physically severed, a condition that can occur when impact forces exceed 50 G, the 12-volt system remains untouched, feeding power to escape mechanisms for a full quarter of an hour. Do you think Tesla's independent backup circuit that keeps power for 10 to 15 minutes really makes a difference in emergencies? Yes or no? And if it does, would you trust its automatic door unlock system to get you out safely during a crash or submersion? Let's move to the next part. Instant door response on impact. Inside the car's structure, an invisible network of accelerometers, gyroscopic sensors, and pressure transducers reads the world at astonishing speed. Data moves through the car's internal bus at nearly one gigabit per second, faster than many home internet connections. The impact sensors trigger within two to five milliseconds, according to teardown data from the Model 3 and Model Y. That's about 60 times faster than the blink of an eye. This cascade of micro-events is what tells the airbags to explode open and the seatbelt pretensioners to lock down. But in the Model 2, that same logic chain extends further. It tells the door actuators to release before the vehicle's central computer even knows what happened. The moment a collision threshold, say 20 G of deceleration or 15 PSI of cabin overpressure, is detected, a secondary microcontroller isolates itself from the main network and performs a single irreversible task. It unlocks the doors. It's a subtle shift in design philosophy. Traditional vehicles depend on post-crash human input, 
a pull handle, an emergency button, a rescuer's crowbar. Tesla's approach replaces that uncertainty with automation at the edge of chaos. The system doesn't ask for confirmation. It acts. Within half a second of the main power loss, the doors are already free. The mechanism uses pyrotechnic latch releases, miniature controlled charges that separate locking pins, similar to those used in aerospace escape hatches. The power demand is tiny, less than 10 watts per door, drawn directly from the 12-volt backup circuit described earlier. Even if the entire infotainment system is dead, these micro-actuators have already done their work. Water or fire scenarios. Fire and water are the two extremes machines fear most, opposite elements that end systems in equally final ways. Tesla's Gen 3 design philosophy seems to treat both not as inevitabilities, but as problems to be solved in code, hydraulics, and pressure differentials. The Model 2, according to multiple engineering leaks, carries within its compact frame a set of survival mechanisms rarely seen in consumer vehicles. It can react when engulfed by either. Start with water. In deep immersion tests, EVS face a paradox. The cabin seals that protect you from rain also trap you underwater. The Model 2 reportedly addresses this with a tri-sensor array that monitors tilt angle beyond 60 degrees, ambient pressure shifts exceeding 0.2 bar, and water conductivity readings at the lower door frames. When all three signals align, the vehicle assumes submersion and executes an automated escape routine. That routine is simple, brutal, and fast. The system uses hydraulic micro-actuators embedded in the hinge motors to decompress door seals within 400 milliseconds, venting enough pressure to equalize the cabin and allow manual or automatic opening. If doors are still jammed, the computer triggers window regulators to roll down four inches, powered by the emergency 12-volt circuit described earlier. A small aperture that instantly breaks the pressure lock that traps most vehicles underwater. In fire scenarios, the logic reverses. Instead of letting air in, the Model 2 isolates. Heat sensors placed near the firewall and rear battery enclosure detect temperatures above 180 degrees Fahrenheit, 82 degrees Celsius. If that threshold persists for more than five seconds, the same secondary circuit unlocks all exits and disengages interior lock motors. The cabin's HVAC system then switches to reverse ventilation, expelling hot gases through roof vents while keeping smoke from re-entering. The goal isn't to save the car, it's to give occupants 60 to 90 seconds of breathable air and an open path outward. Mechanical fallbacks. In full power loss scenarios, say after a severe crash, a short circuit or battery isolation due to water damage, even Tesla's advanced sensors and backup circuits can't save the electronics. That's when mechanical fallbacks take over. Every Tesla since the Model 3 has had at least one manual door release per front seat, a small, lever-like pull that directly disengages the latch, bypassing the entire electrical system. How can a $17,999 Tesla be cheaper to own than a used gas car? Tesla's Model 2 isn't just a headline about price, it's a structural rethink of what affordable actually means in the electric era. For years, EVS were seen as costly luxuries, high sticker prices, expensive batteries, and uncertain maintenance. The Model 2 aims to dismantle that reputation, showing that technology and thrift can finally coexist in one compact, practical car. Start with durability. Leaked supplier data suggests Tesla's next-generation motor could last over 300,000 kilometers, 186,000 miles, roughly 15 years of normal use. Pair that with a lithium-iron phosphate LFP battery, capable of more than 3,000 full-charge cycles, and you get a drivetrain designed to survive two or even three ownership generations. In a market where most budget cars lose efficiency after a decade, the Model 2's core systems are built to outlive expectations. Performance doesn't fall by the wayside either. Early reports indicate the base version will deliver 250 to 270 miles of real-world range 
and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of about 6.7 seconds, numbers that rival mid-tier sedans. And with access to Tesla's supercharger network, charging becomes both faster and cheaper than gasoline, potentially saving drivers $80 to $120 per month compared to refueling a compact gas car. Maintenance is where the long-term math gets clearer. A gas engine contains nearly 2,000 moving parts. Tesla's electric motor has around 20. No oil changes, no timing belts, no transmission fluids, just over-the-air updates and tire rotations. Even brake wear drops by up to 60% thanks to regenerative braking. For retired drivers or families on a fixed budget, that simplicity translates into predictability. No surprise repair bills every few months. Then there's insurance. Tesla's data-driven insurance program, available in multiple U.S. states, measures how safely you drive in real time. Drive calmly, and your premiums drop automatically. Analysts estimate that Model 2 owners using Autopilot regularly could see 10 to 20% lower premiums over time. So, what do you think? Would a car that protects you after impact make you trust EVS more? Do you believe Tesla's safety-first logic could finally convince older drivers to make the switch? If you found this breakdown helpful, hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Because at Auto Gear Shift, we don't just chase headlines. We decode the tech that's shaping the next decade of driving. Thanks for watching. And remember, safety isn't about avoiding accidents. It's about surviving them.